third part of the stream for today. Uh, let's do the, the other two things, the compressor and the extractor. I think those will be good, uh, which is why I already bookmarked them. Uh, I don't think we're gonna do the rotor. So we, we did the masturbator. Uh, oh, there we go, the compressor. And I think the other one was the extractor. Let's bookmark that. There we go, extractor. Uh, so for that, we needed a piston. Good thing we have one. And a bronze hull and bronze fluid pipes. And then for this compressor, we need two more pistons. Uh, how many pistons do we have? We have one. <laughs> That's unfortunate. We're gonna have to make some more pistons. Um, so that's gonna be some iron. So I think we're gonna try to macerate some stuff to give us more iron. And then we can also look to see if we have any, uh, oh no. Well, scratch all that. We need to hide. <laughs> So you don't feel tired right now as the mess that, message that appears uh, during the Blood Moon where a bunch of nasty stuff spawns and uh, you know, we can't, we can't sleep through the night. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna hide down here for a little bit. We should see stuff, yeah, immediately start spawning around us. more okay so in the meantime um yeah well i mean <laughs> what am i supposed to do go out and fight them that's crazy uh no i had the whole dug right i just had a couple blocks of dirt in the way but this has happened twice before and so this is the strategy right is i'm just gonna hide and wait for uh, night to pass. It sounds like they're fighting with each other or something. Oh no, they're they're running into the cactus. They're running into the cactus. That's what's happening. Uh, we can look at like figuring out what we need. Uh, I did get this loot bag that I didn't open. Maybe I'll save it. Save it for now. So the steam compressor. Uh, I hope they open it uh, and fall in with you. Uh, I, as far as I know, I mean, like, Endermen can play, pick up blocks. But first they have to get in the house. They're not going to spawn in the house because it's lit. Uh, there's a door. I don't think they'll break down the door either. At least if there's not a path to me. So I think they won't get into the house. If I'm not actually in the house, which I'm not because I'm buried under the ground. Uh, so it should be fine. <laughs> that They didn't get to me the other two times. But uh, I, I guess... Who knows with this pack. Uh, so we need pistons. We need two pistons for this and we have one. We need one piston for the uh, the other one, the extractor, right? Yeah, so we'll need to make two more pistons. So we already know it's like 16 iron or something for um, each piston. Although, 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 uh, we could look to see if maybe we get something as a reward. Nope. <laughs> Maybe we get more pistons back. Nope. Okay. We're we're on our own for that one. More stuff running into the cactus, probably. Um, such a lovely shade of red. Everything is tinted with. Uh, all right. So extractor. Need a piece of glass. We have glass. Uh, bronze fluid pipe pipes. We can make those. That's just another uh, six, 12 bronze. Uh, so that's the thing, right? So we're gonna need iron and we're gonna need bronze. So bronze, we're getting uh, this bronze, we're getting from here. Eventually, in the not too distant future, maybe, uh, there is a machine. There are machines where it's only one ingot to make a plate couple different machines like the forge hammer oh, is three to two so it's not quite one to one but it's a better ratio and we can make the feet of the steam forge hammer uh, but we need an anvil 
and more bronze pipes and and more pistons okay so we need to make like six pistons or something but yeah so we need bronze and we need um iron now the bronze you make by alloying copper and tin right so what we need to do is we need to macerate things that have copper things that have tin and things that have iron in them and then we'll take those macerated uh, elements and put them in the uh, the smeltery and melt them down and pour them out. Yep. What's what's with the expression? Did I say something funny? I'll have you know I'm I'm not a funny person at all. Very serious. This is not true. <laughs> but I, I suspect I've said something unintentionally funny. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Did you get any dessert with your dinner? Are you much of a dessert person, Boxy? I have a bit of a sweet tooth. Ooh, Gold's... Is that, is that Coldstone or is there a place called Goldstone? <laughs> Coldstone, okay. I don't know, it could be a Texas thing. I think we, um... No, I don't want to talk about that. But uh, yeah, I've been to Coldstone. <laughs> Chocolate Devotion. Uh huh, uh huh. Well, it's 2 a.m. almost. A couple more hours. And then um, a lot of things will despawn. Some things won't. We'll have to fight through. We have our trusty Pan of Doom to, uh, to fight the mobs with. Uh, no, I mean, it's not anything secret. I just don't want to talk about specific things that are about the town that I live in. <laughs> I mean, it's no secret, and I've talked about, you know, I live in the greater Seattle area, you know, Pacific Northwest. Yeah. But it's nothing interesting. Just something related to that topic, but... No juicy gossip, just something that uh, would be a little bit too, like, pinpointing. Anyway. Come on. Fortunately, the Blood Moon does not make the night last longer. Um, I mean, other than the fact that you can't sleep. Uh, it's not a multi-day thing, as far as I know, ever. Um, yeah, so... What, what is the, the map? <laughs> Just a few spiders on the roof. A uh, hostile witch. Uh, some of these spiders, like the ones that aren't moving around too much are probably like vanilla spiders. These ones though might be like from a mod. It might have weird abilities or effects so we'll have to see how that goes the the zombies i'm not too worried about they should burn up the creepers will be annoying especially if they're modded creepers yeah the roof mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wait that is the wrong way. Got a skeleton out there too. Um, so yeah, can we... I guess we can't really switch the dimension that we're looking at in this. <laughs> right? Um, that sounded like the door opened. 
which is bad. That's never happened before. Although, I feel like maybe I blocked the door. Is there a mob that can open the door? Also, look at how much red there is. I don't like it. So, uh, I think this calls for a, a change in strategy. So, I'm gonna dig out here. Ooh, Kaelinite. Okay. Uh, well, it's daytime. I am concerned, though, that there's a mob inside the house. And I want to give myself a little bit of room to maneuver. Actually, I wonder... Like, we should hit the river at some point, right? Oh, the, uh... Shovel's broken. Do I have a torch on me? I had torches on me. I think I, uh, discarded them. Alright, so... Concerned about the fact that I heard the door open. The sound of the cat is not great either. I have um, an association to there being like a kind of modded creeper that sounds like a cat. Now, whether that, whether or not that's what that is, I don't know, but uh, I'm not excited about. Okay. Uh, let's not leave a big uh, place for stuff to spawn down here. Oh, hello, spider. Alright, there's nothing in here. That's good. Uh, and it's a normal spider, so it can't fit through this door anyway. Now that is not a normal spider. Uh, it looks like it's too wide to fit through the door though. What kind of spider is it? It is a um, an invisible spider now. No, I don't know where it went. I think it went up maybe. Oh, hello creeper. Oh, sh That seems bad. <laughs> Why? What? No, 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 no. Rip horse. Seems real bad. Uh, I think I'm gonna run. Now, where am I gonna run? That's a good question. I think I have to run uh, south to the to the right. Try to get some distance, and so that the whatever kind of creeper that is doesn't blow up more stuff. I've seen worse kind of creepers, but that's not great. I don't need a ghast creeper or whatever that is. Or a spider that makes me uh, blind. Now, where did the creeper go? At least he's not hostile. Oh look, a different kind of creeper. All the kinds of creepers. Mm, that seems bad. Okay, but imagine, just imagine, you know, not hiding away and trying to fight all this stuff at night. It's no good at all. All right, let's uh, have a little snack. Uh, 
That is an odd looking Enderman down there. Uh, let's, let's go over this way. Now, where did the, uh, explodey creeper go? I mean, I guess all creepers are exploity, but one that was shooting, uh, exploding balls at us. Seems real bad. Maybe it had a certain number of charges. That would be interesting. OMG. I don't, I don't know what you're, uh, what you're on about, Foxy. I'm just saying normal things over here. Look at this hole. That is unfortunate. You should go to bed. Okay. We have problems here. Um, well. I, I have, I have some, ooh, an uncommon treasure. Oh, let's put this flower down. <laughs> We uh, we need to do something because uh, we we get some brokenness here. Um, there was a chest. Now the ch did the chest get destroyed? Is a question. Let me also go through the stuff. And it has been sitting on the ground for a minute, and stuff will despawn if we're not uh, picking it up. Probably just make some. Uh, hold on. Actually, something very important that I want to pick up over here. Oh, hey, look! I completed a quest by picking up this block. That's odd. Uh, okay, so throw that away. Okay, let's put this stuff all on a chest. So we don't lose it. There we go, there we go. Uh, all right. I guess our backpack is full. Oh, no, guess not. Okay, cool. Uh, I think maybe the chest got destroyed, though. Hey, look. Uh, oh, no, no, no. This is... <laughs> was this the trophy that was over here? Yeah, it got blew It got blown up. Oh, wait, no, no. That's the that's the trophy we got for that right there. <laughs> where, where did the other trophy go? The one that was here? I think it got exploded. Rip trophy. Uh, yeah, I made quite a hole, didn't it? Need to make sure that we don't lose any of our stuff here. Get all the stuff put away. That I can. Alright, so that's all the stuff that was on the ground. So I think we did lose some things, unfortunately. Uh, including our trophy, apparently. Unless it's in my inventory and I just didn't notice. Nope. Okay. Yeah, real rude. Okay. So... Let's see. Uh, 
Huh, shimmer leaf. Where'd that come from? Feather, brick, coffee beans, coffee beans. Okay. So, at least we'll be able to sleep tonight. I don't I don't know if it's possible, but it shouldn't be the case that we'll have back-to-back -back, uh, blood moons. Um, the plan is still to go over and work on the Mass Raider. At some point, I'm probably going to need to fix the uh, that thing. Uh, it doesn't look like we lost anything from this, though, fortunately. So there's that. Okay. So, shall we open? Click to open or keep to trade. Maybe I'll just keep it to trade. Uh, let's, let's just put it um, here. with us oh yeah so I do have a little bit of lapis I can show you what this looks like so if you put the pick in there and you put lapis on it you get uh, modifier lapis one of uh, 450 oh yeah there you go so it's a, see where it says uh, haste and then luck so the the, the huck is uh, the the huck the luck is from the lapis uh, but I don't want to do that right now. I'll keep that for later. Alright, so. Uh, I probably should um, fill this in a bit. Just, just a little bit. This is when a, uh, a stray creeper comes along and <laughs> blows it all up in me with it. That's how that goes, right? Alright. Hey, Lady Versailles. Welcome. How's it going? Uh, let's see. What do I have in these packs? Okay, we got a little bit, little bit of stuff. A little bit of stuff. Okay. Uh... <laughs> And then in here, okay. Did I throw some dirt into one of these chests? Mm, not in that one. What about this one? If I did, I'm not seeing it. Okay, well, we're, we're short a little dirt to fill in the hole, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, I guess I should deal with this guy, huh? Well, at least he can't aim. Ow. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Alright. Got some bones and arrows for later. Alright, let's get out of here. Off to the other base. At least there won't be a bunch of uh, hostile mobs lurking over there. up the master raider oh i forgot the thing i should have done before i left was um grab some of the raw ores from uh from the chest to uh to bring over here and process so can i touch this yeah i can i can touch this machine right and of course this pipe is just carrying water so it's fine what if i stand on top that's fine okay so i think it's just the pipe the pipe is the thing to not touch <laughs> All right, so here's the steam macerator, uh, and the steam macerator macerates things, right? So we'll, we'll check that in a second. I think I have to go back and get some stuff to process, but let's uh, put away what I can here while I'm thinking about it. 
I had anything to put away. Um, probably that cobblestone. Let's throw the bone in there. The fluid pipe we're gonna keep. We'll put that in there. Diamond. Stick there. Charcoal. We'll stick there. Uh, the coins we have a place for now over here. Uh, let's open the loot bag. It's a Steam Age loot bag. It could be something really good. It's a little tunic. <laughs> All right. Well, we don't have a chest piece, so there we go. A little bit of armor. Better than nothing. All right. Let's put this. Uh... Actually, I think I'll keep a little cobblestone down here just for the sake of having that handy. Uh, and I guess we go back and grab up some uh, ores to process. Fortunately, this is very fast, right? To run back and forth. I think um, as we do more, more and more complicated bases, uh, I am imagining that we'll kind of just like, we will like move bases as we get further along in the, the tech progression. We'll just make a new base and use the technology we have to do that. Um, the base is like, I already have the tree, right? It has a spiral staircase, but we'll do more, more and more like vertical construction uh, because we can move very fast vertically once we unlock the ability to build elevators. So there's like these uh, blocks you can stand on and you jump and it teleports you to the next block above you, uh, the next like elevator block above you. Uh, so at some point in the not too distant future, we'll have that. Uh, what am I here for? So we need stuff to macerate. And we probably want to do things that have iron in them, like this magnetite ore. So we should get like 50-ish iron out of this. And, um, we get iron out of this too, I think, if we macerate it. If I hit you, and I go over to Macerator, you got pyrite ore, you get crushed pyrite ore, and some other stuff. So the crushed pyrite ore, we can process um, in a furnace. We can macerate it again for impure piles of pyrite dust, which we can, should be able to purify into pyrite dust, and that can, I'm, I'm just looking to see if we can put it in the, um, it doesn't look like we can put it into the, uh, the smeltery, unfortunately. But it's still, that's fine. It's still better percentage. Uh, and the other thing I'm looking for is um, tin and copper. Um, So that's mercury and sulfur, magnesium. There's a little bit of copper, a little bit of iron. I think I might've blown through a lot of the uh, copper ores that I had, unfortunately. So you may have to do some more mining for that. What about 10? Uh, so I do have these dusts, right? So we have some crushed ores. Now, can we macerate these? And are there ones that we're interested in? So like there's uh, gypsum cassiterite, cassiterite sand. So that's 10, SN is 10. Can this be macerated? Okay, chemical reactor, sag mill, Macerator, okay. So we can, we can get tin dust and, okay. Okay, so that could be done. Can we search for SN? Okay, there we go. There's a little bit. Uh, and then copper is uh, CU. So that has uh, copper in it, and so does that. 
And so does that. Now, will we be able to process all those things? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I guess I could do the same thing here, right? See you. A little bit of copper. And SN. None. Okay, so we we definitely need to do some mining. Uh, I think this is just a consequence of the stuff that I mined before. I just processed it the, the easiest way that I could so we'd have stuff to make uh, bronze. Um, but that's fine. Now, what have we... We do have tin here as well that we could use. If we add copper to this, it'll alloy. Looks like there's some blood in there. I guess a mob must have fell into the top of that. Okay, so. Let's, uh... If nothing else, I just want to operate the macerator once today so we can see that working. That'll be good, good progress. And then we can start working on making the other uh, steam machines, the extractor and the compressor. Hmm, I'm gonna turn up the music a little bit. It's pretty quiet. Hmm. Hold on. Okay. I thought maybe my headset died or something. One second. Just some really quiet music. Okay. Cool. Anyway. Uh, right. So, Masturbator. Never be a problem you have now. Of course not. Ridiculous. That could, that could never be an issue. Uh, so, we have a bunch of semen there. <laughs> uh, let's throw some magnetite in. So, we should get something out of this. Should be interesting. Something worth noting, there's only one output here. If I hit U on the, uh, the, the magnetite and we go over to Macerator, you can see there's four outputs here from magnetite ore. I think this means that we don't get a, a chance at getting these other materials. There's nothing here, but we don't get the 10% chance of iron dust or the basalt dust. And that's what like the higher level macerators do, besides like maybe being more ener energy efficient or faster, I think you get more outputs as you go up higher level, uh, higher energy tier, tier levels. Ow. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, uh, let's throw some power into this and see what happens. It, it does thing. Okay, it's not exactly fast. <laughs> um, I don't think we would want to stand on top of that either. Oh yeah, and we're out of heat. So let's throw in a bit of charcoal. That's not the right spot. It needs to go there. At least this one seems to not have a problem with, oh, there's not enough, oh, I, uh, cannot vent steam. Right click with the wrench to point this machine steam vent towards the empty space. Okay. This is fine, right? I guess that was fine. Insufficient steam, okay. We're, we're making steam. First we have to make heat and then we'll make steam. Okay, but at least this one doesn't seem to mind being interrupted. And look, so from our one magnetite ore that we processed, we got some crushed magnetite uh, ore. And then this stuff, we can just smelt uh, or we can further process it. Other, lots of different ways. Um, so we could put it back in the macerator to get an impure pile of magnetite dust, which would also give us iron, like an iron ingot. 
and it would give us a 10% chance of additional iron dust if we had a mastery that they gave multiple outputs. Pretty sure this one doesn't. Um, it's a forge hammer, thermal centrifuge. There's all sorts of machines that have all sorts of you know possibilities. Or washer. Uh, lowest level ore washer is low voltage though. Uh, but that's what this diagram is all about. This uh, great tech ore processing. It's like a diagram showing you if you have magnetite ore, what's the series of machines to like get all the stuff out of it. So you go into a macerator and then you can either go into a chemical bath or another macerator or into ore washing plant or a thermal centrifuge. And this is like all the different routes and we can get out of it. Uh, but we can't do any of that. <laughs> um, in fact, I suspect this kind of, in a way, limits uh, an option, which is we can't put this into the um, into the Tinker's smeltery, right? But that's fine. We can we can just put this into a furnace and get iron, and that'll be good. And we can do this with the other stuff too, and that that's all good stuff. Um, however, we have a little bit of time left from, on the stream today, so let's see if we can make a little bit more progress. Uh, what do we want to do first? Extracting stuff or compressing stuff? I think compressing stuff is going to you know, unlock the ability to even look at this item. So let's take a look at this. Steam compressor. We need two pistons. We have one. Um, and I think we're, we should just try... Let's, let's make one more piston right now. If, uh, and make this so we know we need eight plates plus six plates 14 plates 28 uh oh. <laughs> 28 brass um yeah, which we don't have or bronze sorry we have 16. uh didn't we have a piston I guess it's in a chest over there. Okay, well, hmm, quests, there we go. Compressor, two pistons. So to make the pistons, we gotta do all this. Um, each piston needs carpenter blocks. So let's make some more carpenter blocks. So we just needed sticks and screws, right? Oh, we have enough carpenter blocks. All right, cool. Um, and we need two red alloy ingots. And what else? Hey, Jake. Welcome back in. How's it going? Uh, just working on making some pistons over here. I need to make small iron gears. So we need two iron plates and four iron rods. So we need iron. Fortunately, we have iron. <laughs> uh, all right, so again, we're working on the compressor. That seemed like the most important thing to do right now. Pistons. So we need red alloy ingots. Uh, we need one more of those. Or at least I'm gonna make one more of those. Hammer is not that. It looks like the same thing, sort of, except. Um, oh, there it is. That one's a soft mallet, and this one is a hammer. Steam compressor, piston, small iron gear. All right, so we need to make iron plates. At least two. Then we need four rods. I think that's with a file, right? No, no sound for filing down the uh, the ingots into uh, into rods. All right, all right. So then we do this. We get two of those. Oh, except we want we want four. So we're gonna make another everything. all that again. One, two, 
Uh, wait. Ah, whatever. Extras are fine. Uh, file, not a screwdriver. <laughs> Alright, and then... More iron gears. Uh, oh, I see. I did actually need two more rods. this tab and make another iron gear, small iron gear. It's a lot of crafting. Uh, and we need some cobblestone and we need fences. All right, so let's get some sticks together. Planks and sticks, yeah? Uh, let's get some more wood then. Mm, except we can't... <laughs> we can't make a fence out of that, apparently. Uh, it is sticks and planks, just... That's the wrong kind of planks, apparently. Try oak. All right, there we go. Now, this then, uh, need four cobblestone. One, two, three, four. Maybe we can actually do this today. Two more pistons, and then we need the bronze hull, which means we need a bunch of bronze plates. All right, so. What do? What do? I don't think, did we leave any bronze over at the other place? If not, Did we determine that we could take the ground sand, the ground cassiterite sand, and uh, put it in the macerator? Uh, there's no point, right? Because we're just going to get one uh, impure pile. And we won't get the 10 dust because we only get one output. Um, I think we just take that and we put it in the, uh, the furnace and we melt it into a tin ingot. Uh, what about the copper ore? I think the copper ore is better. If we macerate it, we get to, yeah, we, we want to do that. So let's uh, take this out and we'll put the copper ore in. Because I think, like if we were to just to put this into the, uh, into that we get, this is an ingot worth of copper. Uh, oh, okay, that's just the placeholder. All right, so it's processing the one copper ore that we put in. Uh, I think all the rest of the stuff we're just gonna melt in the uh, uh, furni. And then we'll toss everything into the uh, smeltery to, to alloy it. Uh, we do have some copper here that I could take over as well. So let's, let's, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait for this to process, grab it, we'll run back over to the other place and uh, make some more bronze. And that should allow us to make this other um, thingamajig. Let me also turn off the steam supply here. There, now it's disconnected. And back on the horse, back in the saddle. As soon as I find where that lead went. Okay, there we go. Uh, off we go.
Okay, so. Uh, we do have tin in here, quite a bit. So we just need to add the copper, and that copper, and that. Are these gonna process? No, they're not. They're not gonna be melted by the uh, uh, smeltery. None of these things are going to be, are they? No, okay. So those things all have to go into a furnace first to get turned into ingots. And then if we wanna alloy them, then we can put it back into the um, uh, smeltery. So, this is where having a, a bunch of furni would be helpful. Uh, although these don't take too long. All right, there we go. And then that goes in there. Yep, cool. All right. And in the meantime, we have some more bronze. I have a good amount of lava from our one bucket that we gra grabbed earlier. Now we have some more copper, and some more copper, and some more copper. All right, so we're gonna throw all that extra copper in there. We'll make as much bronze as we can with what we have. It is like three copper ingots to one tin ingot to make four bronze, I believe is how it works. So it's, it is three to one, but then you only get three units of bronze back. You don't get four. That is unfortunate. All right, so we can cast. Um, our pipe is gone. So we lost our ability to automate <laughs> this again. Uh, oh, I guess I could have left that there. That's fine, we just do this. Um, so yeah, I need more bronze to make another pipe. That is a little annoying. Looks like we're short on copper. We have 10 in here. We just don't have enough copper. I think we have one more copper ingot in here. We have copper nuggets. Can we melt copper nuggets? Looks like yes. That is good news. All right, we're gonna toss those copper nuggets in there too. Get a little bit more bronze out of this. So yeah, that um, weird creeper that spawned during the blood moon was very destructive, not only to the terrain, but we lost some blocks from our, um, uh, whatever this is called, uh, Coke oven. Yeah. I mean, since it's already broken, I'm just gonna pick it up and we'll um, maybe move it elsewhere. So I think that should be enough to make the next machine. That will at least allow us to see wh where the progression goes. I don't think we're gonna have enough time. No, I know we don't have enough time 
to get to steel today, but we can at least make the, the next machine. And that'll be good because then I'll give me a better idea of kind of, uh, if, <laughs> provided I have the time between this and next Monday, um, I can do a little stuff off camera uh, to gather, to do more mining and such. So we'll see if that happens. Otherwise, uh, if that doesn't, then that's what we'll be doing next stream is lots of mining. But either way, it's been great. Uh, I mean, it's not great to have stuff blown up, but hey, that's that's the game, right? Without risks, it'd just be creative. Um, let's let's do this. So let me also click that and. Uh, all right, so we're making this thing. So we need fluid pipes. So we need bronze plates. So we need to click this. How many do we need? Um, maybe that's not enough. Eight for the hull. Oh, uh, no. I'm too short. Uh, well, I have more copper. So let me just take this copper over there. We'll, we'll use all the rest of the copper. Uh, that's what I get for not properly <laughs> doing the math. Okay, let's go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. short. Uh, all right, that's gonna melt. We, ha we have enough lava to melt it. Uh, there's one in there. Um, there is six nuggets of bronze in there, so we'll have to wait for this to melt. And uh, 6.32 is nighttime. Eight, uh, wait, what? Nine ingots of bronze. All right, we just needed those two. All right. um, actually, let's go ahead and just make the last plate here. And then make the uh, bronze hull. Just that, that right there. All right, and then the tube, the the pipe, is not like that. It's like this. There we go. What's really a shame is that I need to make another one of these to automate the thing, but um, I don't. So that's yeah, six. That's twelve bronze, and we don't have that. So um, why didn't I need the pipe? Oh, right, 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 right. So we're, we're making the steam compressor. And we have... I made the wrong thing. Right? I just made a large, large bronze fluid pipe. What we need for this are six small bronze fluid pipes, which um, is a different shape than the thing that I made it, I think. So we need another 12 bronze. I don't suppose we can just melt this down. Can we melt you down? Or otherwise craft you into, uh... <laughs> we macerate it into six. Losing half. Uh... Nope. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh... Well... The alternative is there is a coin reward thingamajig. I don't think we can 
do that. Copper ore exchange? No, no, we... That's exchanging types of copper ore? Yeah. Okay. We can't just buy resources like that. Uh, and we have seven ingots. So, I think that is... <laughs> that is it for today. Um, didn't quite get the, uh, the compressor. That's fine. We want to also do the extractor. So again, the, the idea here is that according to the quest book, over yonder in tier 0 0.5. So when we started the stream today, uh, we had just, we had the uh, alloy smelter, whatever it's called. Uh, and we completed this, this line of quests and got to the point where we could, you know, have the quest to do these machines. You don't actually have to do the quest, right? To be able to like make these things. It's, this is a guidebook to be able to keep track of like what, what's the next thing and what things you need to get to the next thing. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is steel. You know, we can just look at the view mode, right? So if you, if you toggle the view mode, then you can see all the quests. It doesn't change the fact that you still have to do them in order. You have to follow the line, except there's just a lot more to look at. Uh, but yeah, so we can see that to complete this quest, we need eight steel. So um, it tells you look in the multi-block pools quest tab and build a bricked blast furnace, right? So if we look over in multi-block goals, there's a lot. Uh, I don't, yeah. So this quest normally, if you're in the other view mode, uh, well, it's, it's visible, uh, but you can't even click into it because we need to complete compressing stuff. Compressing stuff is the thing that I was trying to complete. Uh, unfortunately, we need a little bit more bronze. So, uh, what needs to happen is some more mining of uh, tin and uh, mainly copper. We need a lot more copper. 